we want to determine the derivative of f of x equals the quantity two x to the fifth minus three raised to the eighth power. So we need to recognize that this is a composite function where we have an inner function and an outer function and therefore we'll have to apply the chain rule to find the derivative. The chain rule states to find the derivative of a composite function we need to determine the derivative of the outer function and then multiply it by the derivative of the inner function. But if you look at the notation for the chain rule, it can be a little bit overwhelming. So let's take a look at it. Once we know we have a composite function, one of the most important things we need to do is identify the inner function of the composite function. And once we identify the inner function, we want to let that equal u. So in this case, notice that g of x is the inner function, so we let u equal g of x. Once we know u, we can rewrite the function in terms of u and then apply the chain rule. And the chain rule can be expressed two different ways. One way using Leibniz notation and a second way using function notation. Using Leibniz notation, dy dx is equal to dy du times du dx. Well dy du represents the derivative of the outer function and du dx represents the derivative of the inner function. Looking at the function notation, f prime of u is the same as dy du which is a derivative of the outer function and then u prime is a derivative of the inner function which again is the same as the u dx. And then once the chain rule is introduced all of the basic derivative formulas are given again with the chain rule built in as we see here below. So notice how here instead of x to the power of n we have u to the power of n again u being the inner function and to find the derivative of u to the n we find the derivative with respect to u and then multiply it by u prime which again is the derivative of the outer function times the derivative of the inner function. So looking at our function, we need to recognize that the inner function would be two x to the fifth minus three, which will let equal u. And let's go ahead and write that out over here. u is equal to two x to the fifth minus three. So if the inner function is u, we could rewrite this as u to the eighth. And so now we have the function written in terms of u, we can apply the chain rule by applying the general or extended power rule. Which means to find f prime of x will determine the derivative of the function with respect to u. Well the derivative of u to the eighth would be eight u to the seventh. And now we need to multiply it by the derivative of the inner function which would be u prime. So now we've applied the chain rule. The only thing left to do is to rewrite this derivative in terms of x rather than u. So instead of u to the seventh we'll have the quantity two x to the fifth minus three to the seventh, and then we'll have to determine u prime. Well, if this is u, u prime would be 10 x to the fourth. So we have all the information we need to write this in terms of x. f prime of x is equal to eight times the quantity two x to the fifth minus three, that's u raised to the seventh, and then u prime is 10 x to the fourth. So can we write this one more time? F prime of x is equal to, well eight times 10 x to the fourth would be 80 x to the fourth times the quantity two x to the fifth minus three to the power of seven. This would be our derivative function. So even though the first time you see the chain rule, it can be a bit overwhelming, as long as you can identify the inner function as u, we write the function in terms of u, it is a fairly straightforward process. We find the derivative of this with respect to u and then multiply by u prime. We'll take a look at more examples in the next several videos. I hope you found this helpful.